Hello, welcome guys. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can create SFTP connection in OIC. So for creating the connection for SFTP server or FTP server, we have one adapter that is called FTP adapter. That adapter can be useful to create connection between SFTP or SFTP, whatever. So here, uh, for creating a connection, we require details. We require credentials to connect with the server. So here you can see that I have used WinSAP. In WinSAP, I have already created the connection. So in that connection, you can see that I have the details related to the SFTP details. So here host name is here. You can see the port name, port number and the username and password. So same details I will use to create a connection. Okay, so let's move to the creating connection part. So for creating the connection, we need to move to the design part. In design, we have connections. So now we have to create connection right so just click on this create button once you will click on that create button it will ask you to select the adapter what kind of adapter you want to select right so for which you are going to create connection right so i am going to create connection for ftp right so as i told you earlier that we have ftp connect adapter that can be helpful to connect with sftp or ftp server both so we have to provide the name so i will give name as xx sftp connection okay and now here we have given the role as invoke because of this FTP adapter is only work with that invoke role, invoke role type, right? I have already explained the difference between different kind of roles, right? So now we have to click on this create button. So once you will click on this create button, it will ask you the credentials. It will ask you to host, port and all the details, user ID and password, right? So here you can see that it's asking for the properties and the security. So now we have to provide the details. So this is asking here, it's in property, it's asking for FTP server host address. So here you can see this is our host. So I will copy this host and will put it here. And now it's asking for FTP port. So we have port as 10107, yeah. And here once you will click on this optional properties, here you can get the option as FTP connection and here in drop down we have option yes or no. So yeah, this connection is related to the SFTP, so I will select yes. If this connection is for FTP, so we need to select no. So I have selected yes and that's fine. And now we have to choose give the username. So here you can see the username. Yeah, username is Aaron Zafar. So I will copy this username and password. So I have provided the password here and now you have to test. So just click on the test. So if everything is okay, it will create the connection. And now you can see that connection SF, XX SFTP connection was created successfully. It's in 100%. Now we are ready to use this connection in integration. So this is a simple process for creating the SFTP connection or FTP connection. You required FTP or SFTP host address port and the type of connection that is uh, SFTP or FTP and then after that you require username and password to connect with the server okay so this is the basic details we require while creating the connection for SFTP or FTP so I have already tested now it's time to save and close so in this next video I will show you how you can create ATP connection autonomous transaction processing database connection then after I will create integration in that integration I will use both connection SFTP connection to read data from SFTP server and ATP connection to insert whatever data we have read from the server insert same data into ATP table so we'll create integration for that so thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can comment below and you can ask thank you so much for watching